a uh, this is li literally a, a torque converter if you want to think of it like that. Changes the torque coming out of the rear end. Um, it, 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 it obviously is designed to uh, take the engine, which is producing uh, most of its power between, say, 2,500 and 5,000 RPM, and, and yet allow the allow the car to run at, at speeds at five miles an hour, or 20 miles an hour, or 90 miles an hour, and and use use the uh, the peak performance of the engine. Um, where the where the uh, horsepower is the greatest. So if we're just pushing the car, you know, no one's sitting inside it. You're just put, you're, you're just pushing it. This is all that's turning inside this transmission. Just this. So the rear wheels are attached to the half shafts, attached to the differential, attached to the drive shaft attached to the rear flange. The rear flange is attached to the main shaft which runs all the way down inside the main shaft. Goes from inside this very first gear all the way through the middle out to the back. One great big long piece of metal. It's splined to the reverse wheel. It's splined to the first second sliding hub and it's splined to the third fourth sliding hub. So if if the rear wheels are turning, these three items here are turning. The third, fourth sliding hub, the first, second sliding hub, and the reverse wheel. If the rear wheels are turning, these are turning. If these are turning, the rear wheels are turning. These are the rear wheels. Okay, so if the car is in motion, the main shaft is turning, and these three items are turning. Now let's say that we're sitting at a stoplight car's idling, it's in neutral, our foot's off the clutch. Then all this is turning. Oh my God, look at all that stuff that's turning. But really there's only five things here that are turning. There's the first motion shaft up here, which is this splined area hooked to the, hooked to, to the clutch. Just this yellow gear here. So this is the, called the first motion shaft. John, that, can, I, can I ask, when you say splined, uh, what, it, what does spline mean? This, these are splines. Okay, thank you. Yep. And they're, and they're either, they're either a coarse cut or they're involute. Almost all these splines are in, involute splines. Anyway, what does involute mean? Scooped. Scooped. The real early uh, splines, like on the T-type half shaft, are cut. They're very weak they're because they got sharp edges to them, they shear off. That's why they break. That's why they break. But by by the um, halfway through in the MGAs, they come up with involute splines for the half shafts. Those no no longer break. So anyway, we've got um, we've got the first motion shaft which turns. That in turn drives the whole lay shaft, which is here on the bottom. Excuse me, the lay gear. And that lay gear in turn turns the first gear, the second gear, the third gear, and the, the fourth gear is in motion when the uh, at the get go. So this is the first speed gear, second speed gear, third speed gear, and fourth speed gear. And these three gears here are driven off off the the lay gear, which is in constant mesh with the engine. So if the clutch is out and the engine is turning, all this stuff is turning. So how do we get the engine, which is this, combined to the rear wheels, which is this? Well, let's put it in first gear. So all we're doing is covering up these little tiny engagement teeth on the gear. So we, we put it in first gear and now we start to turn the engine. The engine turns this gear, turns the lay gear, turns the first speed gear, and now our, our sliding hub is slid over these engagement teeth, and the, and the main shaft now assumes the speed of the first speed gear. And how fast is the first speed gear? Well, we've got 18 teeth up here, and 26 teeth down here, 
So this lay gear is running 18 26 as fast as the engine. Then we've got 13 teeth down here, 31 teeth up here. So this gear is turning 13 31st as fast as the lay gear. We take both those ratios. Yep, there's a test. He, <laughs> couldn't, he forgot the test. <laughs> he couldn't find it in his computer. We take both these gear ratios, multiply them together, and basically it, it, uh, it, it comes out that for one turn in, we get a quarter of a turn out. So that's first gear. And you can see that the first speed gear is turning more slowly than the second speed gear. And you can see that the second speed gear is turning more slowly than the third speed gear. And you really can't see it over the top of here, but I'll assure you that this gear is going a little more quickly than, than this gear. So if we want to engage second gear, we bring our sliding hub up. Now, now the main shaft has assumed the speed of the second speed gear. That's got a different ratio. And now for every turn that we're putting in, we're getting about half a turn out. And you can see that the main shaft here is turning more quickly than the first speed gear. It's still turning more slowly than the third speed gear. There's third, there's third gear. You can see that the main shaft, which is this, this speed here, is, is uh, the main shaft is turning much more quickly than this first speed gear, turning more quickly than the second speed gear, and is turning more slowly than the fourth speed gear. And finally, in fourth gear, I, I can get there. Um, now, our main shaft is connected right to the first motion shaft, which is the speed of the engine, and the speed of the engine coming in equals the speed of the engine coming out. So let's put our indicators here. We got our crank here at the top and our bolt here for an indicator at the rear. We put it in first gear. We give it one full turn in. We get a quarter of a turn out. Dusty says quarter turn out, right? Quarter turn out. Okay. Put it in second gear, one full turn in, two quarters of a turn out. Third speed gear, one turn in three quarters of a turn out, fourth gear, four quarters of a turn out, okay? So first, second, third, and fourth. For every, every turn that we put in, we get one quarter out, two quarters out, three quarters out, four quarters out, overdrive in the back, five quarters out, okay? 